about this land, my friend. When you have stared into as many dead eyes as I have, it's hard to see anything but emptiness. In the end, we are meat for the butcher's blade, sure as hawks. That's all there is. Nothing more. Ah, here's the raven feeder now. The scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. A leader should not second-guess themselves. Nobody respects a tremble heart. I have known plenty as brash as you. Not many are left in this world. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Fulke has news of Croindonen's fall. She's gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I am reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was forewarned. There must have been more scouts than we knew of. What's done is done. Save your breath for the fight. Patient! Not for the open!
you dogs! Back to Porchester! They flee like rabbits! Then we chase them like hounds! That ugly bastard's head is mine! Not if I get there first, slow arse! Leave him! The day is already won! <laughs> <laughs> You Saxon! You'll join your friends soon enough. Is it for that withered bag of skin you fight? For Sigurd the sickly? If Sigurd dies today, I will find your corpse and piss on it! False deities like a plague to this land. But you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate. I decide your fate today, Saxon. I am ready for my final journey. Let me see what lies beyond. When you see your guard, tell him I sent you. <laughs> <laughs> Dead Eivor. No breath within him. Gods, I've never seen the raucous bastard so quiet. You are wounded, brother. Let me bear your brother to the camp. He was always quicker than me. Beat me out of the womb by mere moments. Now he has beat me to Valhalla. Even in death, he had to be first. This crow feast is my doing. No blame stains you, Eivor. He cut his own path. No always did. For him, there's no more strife and pain. Only glorious battle and the forever feast. Stripling, I warned you the risk was too great! Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? Many have died, my friend here among them. The fault is mine, 
Knowing that is shame enough. Small comfort that is to the dead. What happened here? Uba, Soma, you come at a black hour. And too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one. But Folk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But know you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, raven feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor. I will hear you, Guthrum Saxon Bane, if you wish to speak your peace. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected. Strike swift. Gather your allies. Pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. I heard and heeded. I am not too proud to admit my mistake. Then there is wisdom in you as well. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated. But we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. Erke, Stowe, right there ahead of me. Together we'll bring them down. It brings me no pleasure to fight my own people. But a debt is a debt. We will leave immediately. Besides, they're men of Vesex, Alfred's folk. No brothers of yours. After that, we should strike at Fulke's supplies all across Sussex. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth, Gilderford, and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley. Food in Gilderford. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uber, I need your axe arm at Gilderford. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I'll join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. Soma and Uba, I apologize. I would have liked to offer better welcome after your long journey. I'm only sorry we could not be here sooner. We'll need a short while to organize the men. Then we'll set off as soon as we're able. What I would give to be there when he appears in Odin's Hall. Old one eye will have his hands full tonight. But I cannot let my brother lie forgotten in unknown soil. I must take him home. Bury him with what finery I can muster. I understand. May Freya watch your way, brother. Until we meet again. Aye. Until then. Now oh, here is a welcome face, Soma. How fares Grendebridge? We thrive, just as we did our first year. And I have you to thank for that. The risk I took was far less than you're taking now. I thank you for heeding my call. An oath is an oath, Eivor. Silver-gilded and iron-clad. Uber Regnason, it puts me at ease to see you here. Welcome. Ava Wolfkiss tempts me with a swipe at Wessex. Who am I to resist? <laughs> Here we might finish the work your father began a decade back. Are you ready? More than ready. 
I am hungry. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Sunan. I should not be seen in this area.
Well, the more you nag, the more I think we'd all be better off if Affleck just claimed you. Any time a woman dares to question you, that's your solution. Drown them in the river. Your mother ran off to Stonage with your Uncle Ackwell. I do not have an Uncle Ackwell. Oh, thank you, my friend. You, stranger, help me talk some sense into him, will you? This is your daughter. Why have you tied her up? Because if I don't, she just runs off. Foreigners and their stupid questions. My father thinks a satanic sea beast, Aflank the Terrible, sent floods to our farms. My sacrifice is to appease him. We don't think, we know. Godfrey saw Aflank with his own eyes. So you're going to throw your daughter in the lake and hope the beast accepts your offering. She'll more likely drown. You're making it sound stupid when you say it like that. Look! There he is! He bleaches the water! Do you not see his demonic flippers? I would run if I were you. Your father is mad. Thank you. But until this demon is proven nothing but driftwood, I still might find myself a watery tart. Sea beasts and demons. There is something fishy afoot. So, this is their devil. I'll find something to prove. It's just a they should convince them not to sacrifice the girl to Affleck. Boiling with them. Was it nothing but driftwood? Your sea beast was just a sunken ship. What? But this is something that any swimming fool could have discovered. No offense. I told him. I told him it was nothing, but he wouldn't listen. Shut up, you fool. Said you plague him day and night, complaining about his drinking, calling him a layabout. Father, you knew that there was nothing there? So, 
This was your solution to be rid of me? You're as bad as your mother. Nothing is ever good enough. I'm sick of listening to it. An elaborate ruse for so simple a problem. This cannot be forgiven. Murder was on your mind. You deserve reparation. Speak your justice, and I'll enforce it. Thank you, stranger. Leave, father. Leave my home and my life. Your actions have made me an orphan. I know this. If you ever return, you'll be punished for your crimes. Come, Grizzled. I shall be your rock now. Live well, Grizzled. Free from your father's mischief. Yeah! <sighs> 
Show me what lies ahead. to get on the other side. from the other side. Survey the area sooner.
Jesus Christ! Benton! Benton! I'm not following you into that forest, you woolly sack of mange! Hat that way Sonia? That's end Elias. Effect is. Will anyone help? I think he went off to the north somewhere. You may have a friend Chapman on us. I need your eyes, my friend. Christ! Sounds like a sheep, not a happy one. That sheep will be torn apart if I don't do something. Are you Fenton? Your master is calling you. Maybe it will come if I whistle. It works. The sheep follows my whistle. Come on, let's get you home. You do want to be home, don't you? Will you? There you are, Benton. You have escaped for the last time, you walking mutton chop. I went through all that just so you could kill that poor beast? A man like me can ill afford to slaughter a sheep for bittles. But the Elderman demanded it, and I must obey. Between you and me, I've been dying to murder this bastard for ages. Fenton was a royal pain in my ass. Still, you did me a good turn, stranger. Take some meat for your help. The Elderman won't miss it. It's Martin's due for me tonight. Farewell.
they see me, this will get messy. Come, see my wares. <laughs> <laughs> 